What's up everybody, welcome back to How It's Done. Today we are going to be showing you how to go from a two-prong outlet to a grounded outlet. So, so from something like this, um, maybe yours looks a little bit different. Could look something like this, and to something like this. Or, you know, something along these lines, where it's a grounded outlet. So, two-prong or ungrounded to a grounded outlet. Today on How It's Done. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is unplug everything that's plugged in, turn off the power. Um, there are some adapters you can use um, to get that ground added to it, but it really doesn't so much add the ground as much as it does uh, just add a extra side to it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it is a cheap and effective way to go that you can just plug something in and be good with it, but it really doesn't fix the fact that you don't have a ground there. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this plate off and see what we're working with. All right, so we've removed the plate. We've gotten the device pulled out of the wall, and we can see that there is actually not a ground inside this box. There's just the two connectors. So what that means is we cannot just make up the ground to the ground terminal on a device. Um, there's two methods of doing this that's accepted by code. One is to run a ground to this box from the panel or from a grounded, uh, from another ground wire that's connected to the uh, panel. And two would be to add it as a GFI. This is accepted by NEC. It's a, uh, if you ever go to sell the house, it's gonna be um, considered correct by an inspector because it's only a two wire application. So this is gonna be what we're gonna do here because we don't want to go open in the wall and running a whole new wire just to uh, get this grounded plug in place. So let's go ahead and turn off the power to this and we'll get this swapped out to the GFI. All right, so we've got the old device removed. We've got the wires stripped and straightened out. Um, what we're going to be doing here is we're only going to be using the line side of the GFI. Uh, so the load side is you're just going to keep the piece of tape on it. And the copper colored is going to go to the black wire. And the silver colored screw is going to go to the white wire or the neutral. And once you're done with that, we'll go ahead and tuck it back in the box. And that's pretty much it for this plug. All right, it's back in. It's installed. We'll go ahead and reset this. We're good to go. Now, why would you want to go ahead and put in a three-prong plug or a three or a grounded plug instead of using just this guy? Well. Maybe you have a plug strip that needs a ground. Maybe you've got something that is requiring a ground. Um, there's there's any number of reasons. If your home was built before 1970, which I believe was 1970, 1971, somewhere around there, the time frame was when they started requiring grounds on the devices, uh, receptacles, and all that. Um, your home technically would be grandfathered in. You don't need to go ahead and... Uh, do this update unless there's a need for it like if you're plugging in a specific piece of equipment or something like that a lot of things nowadays just run off of the two um, little USB plug dongle or uh, lamp cords most lamp cords are only going to require um, you know your two so a lot of the things are still going to work off the two if you're doing this because a plug was broke um, say you had a plug like this that had a, a chip in the end and you wanted to get it fixed. They do still sell these in Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that. Um, they are a lot more expensive than just your regular outlet, but they are still less expensive than the GFI. So if you don't really need to replace it or upgrade it, I wouldn't bother with it. If it's something that you're doing because you're doing an update throughout the house, you want new plugs, it's going to add up fast. With GFIs being 20 bucks a piece and you pretty much having to do it in every single location where there's a plug like this, it's going to get more expensive. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, that's how it's done. We'll see you on the next one.